Oliotia. Habari. Mzuri. Are you Mzuri? Yeah, Mzuri. Koba ngo. Eh? Bonjour. <laughs> How are you doing today? My name is Clifford and this is the Creative Lounge where we teach you different creative things in photography, videography, live broadcast, name it. We give it to you, all right? Hope you love you love being here and uh, if you if you love being here and you haven't subscribed, oh, that's sad. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're the first person to know every time we post a video on this channel, you know? And uh, if you like this video, hit the like button. Don't leave the channel before you like the video, okay? So today, we are taking you on a behind the scenes. A couple of months ago, we took you on a behind the scenes for one of those traditional marriage ceremonies here in Uganda. And uh, today, they are having their wedding. So I want you to tag along. Let's go, let's see, and enjoy ourselves. Let's enjoy the wedding. Let's see what happens in a Ugandan wedding. Yeah? A wedding in Uganda. Come along, let's go. Yep, like for any other wedding that we do here, it always starts in the morning with the bridal preparations. So right here, there's a team with the bride and then there's another team that you will not see, but it's with the groom where they are. Typical for every morning, it all starts by taking the details. Now we start looking at uh, the like how you saw the dress and right here we're now taking pictures of the ring. And then we also use that opportunity to try and study and learn the, the mood and the feel of the bridal entourage and the entire team for the wedding. So we try and make sure that we capture at least everything that you know the bride and groom have spent money on so the shoes the gown the jewelry the rings killer kitu everything So when all the detailing is done, we now get back to bridal makeup. So we moved the bride from somewhere that was a bit tiny to this place to get details. So when the details are got and the makeup is done, we now take time to take pictures of the bride. Usually, <coughs> What we do is we take pictures of the bride and her bridal team. However, this morning the bridal team was a bit late, so we decided to take pictures of the bride on her own. Uh, somehow she had not yet taken breakfast, then we said, you know what, it's cool, come along, let's take your pictures with your breakfast, don't mind, come with your tea, come with your teapot, sit down, we'll take your pictures and... This is some of the work that we got from this. Have a look, enjoy. When that is done, we experience the wedding gown. So after all that is done, the bride is done dressing, it's now time to go to church. And we use this particular moment when she's walking down to take a bit more pictures when she's now in her wedding gown. So well, when we're done with all those pictures, it's now time for church. So
so all the vows are said and pictures are taken during the vows and the preaching and everything. So when we're done with the service, we move on outside and take some group pictures of the different guests at church. So when all the pictures at church are now done, we then we then move on for the photo session. Particularly this one, they wanted to use a more rustic road street photo shoot. During this session, you want to get a lot of group shots of the entourage, and then after doing entourage group shots, we go to the bride. So when we are done with the group shots, we now move over to the bride and groom. At this point, we are looking at uh, exciting shots, intimate shots for specifically the bride and the groom. So yeah, we're still concentrating on the bride and groom to make sure we get pictures that are specifically tailor-made for them and things that uh, they can, you know, hang up on the walls and enjoy. So well, we also try and use the different props that we have at the wedding. Uh, case in point, here we're using the bridal car. So this was one of the cars that we're using for transportation. So we used it. all the shenanigans of the photo shoot on the streets or wherever they have decided to take their photo shoots from is done we now move on to the reception venue so for this particular reception venue which is located right in Chireka Mawanda Royal Gardens in Kampala yeah so we also took time to take the some pictures in the decoration. pictures are done and the harmonies are done it's now time for the reception to start this reception was so full of fun happiness and a lot of dancing per se so we started off with a couple's dance this was specifically tailor-made for the married people who attended the wedding reception so it was really fun seeing people dance So well, during the course of the reception, there was more dancing and a lot of dancing and even more dancing from the daytime all through into the night and people enjoyed themselves, ate and it was fun. So thank you. Hope you love the video. 
you love the video click the like button man like the video if even if you did like the video you watched it just like the video and if you haven't subscribed to this channel what are you waiting for man like subscribe hit the notification bell so you can be the first person to know every time we post on this channel well this has been the creative lounge where we see learn and do don't stop creating do not stop creating keep creating and see you next time ciao